Hi, this is Max with Family Piano, and today we're going to be looking at the Kawai K200. This is the entry level of the Kawai K series, which are their in-home studio pianos. And as in-home studio pianos, they tend to have a highly refined sound to them, and they have three major things going for them. Quality of materials, quality of design, and also the innovative features that they have. This piano over here, this stands at 45 inches tall, which gives you plenty of sound. And at the same time, it also gives you an incredible tone. These Kawai pianos, especially the K-series, tend to have a very warm and lyrical sound palette, uh, which is really great for in-home playing. Uh, and there's a lot of really cool features that this piano has. It's very comparable to uh, Yamaha's B2 upright. And yet it has a lot, of, a lot of advanced features that the Yamaha piano does not have. So one of the first things you're going to notice when you put your hands on this piano is it features an incredible action. Uh, this is the Millennium 3 action, which is Kawhi's most advanced piano action. Um, and the secret behind it is the use of ABS uh, carbon composite material. Um, so looking at this action model here, in a traditional piano, um, all of these parts here would be made out of wood. And wood is really good in music for certain reasons. It's a very resonant material, but there's also some things that it doesn't do so well, uh, such as wood expands and contrasts with heat and humidity. Um, so over time, these parts are gonna wear down in a traditional wooden action. So what Kawhi does over here is they replace as many of these parts as they can with this ABS uh, composite material. It's a highly advanced material, um, which makes the action a lot more durable, and it's going to feel the same way for a much longer time than on a traditional wooden action. Um, another thing that it's particularly good at, so wood is a porous material, which means that it has inefficiencies in how it transfers kinetic energy. Um, so let's say, for example, with wood, 100% um, of the energy you put in, maybe 5% of it is lost through inefficiency. Um, with an action like this, it's a highly efficient action, so it gets that, that amount of lost efficiency um, down to an absolute minimum, which just makes for a tremendous feeling keyboard um, that's ultra sensitive to all the musical nuances you need. So in terms of refinement, this is one of the best playing actions that I've ever played on. Um, it's just incredibly good at conveying these tiny little musical nuances and turning it into amazing sound. Now, when I like to show the sound of pianos, there are three places on the keyboard that I really like to look for. Um, one, and this is for any piano, I like to look at the bass range, the very last couple of notes. Um, now these should be you know, nice and clear and you should be able to hear each tone individually. That's the marker of a good bass, bass section on a piano. So each tone is very distinct and you have no trouble hearing you know, any of the tones in the bass, so it's not muddy at all. It's a very clear piano. Um, and then the midsection, this is where you want a melody um, to be nice and strong um, and to be projected and also to have a lot of clarity to it. And then on the upper range, you want it to have you know, a lot of clarity, but a certain sparkly kind of effect to it. And another really great feature that the K200 and all the pianos on the K series have um, is the mute rail, which is really good for when you want to practice, but it's late at night or when you don't want to distract other people in your household. Um, and what you do is there's a middle pedal 
and you lock it into position and Now, with a high quality mute rail, um, you should, one, there should be tone on each and every note. You know, the, the felt should not uh, diminish the integrity of each tone. Um, and also, you should not notice, you know, a vastly different key feel. And with the case series, um, with the mute rail, there actually is no change at all to how the keys feel to play. Also notice that the integrity of the tone is not compromised by the mute rail so you can fully play with this muted and it's not going to feel different and the integrity of the tone is going to be preserved the whole time And of course, um, for great sound, the integrity, the strength, and the quality of the soundboard is of utmost importance. So this is solid spruce, and there are four back posts to the back, uh, which creates an extremely sturdy design. Um, so all the sound gets funneled through this uh, solid spruce um, soundboard, and it just sounds absolutely incredible. So two great other features that I want to talk about on, on all the K-series, but on this K200 as well. Um, one are the wheels. Now it has wonderful brass wheels, um, and it's actually incredibly easy to move this piano around. So moving it inside of the home um, is going to be very easy with an instrument like this. Um, and it also has a softball system um, in the keyword here. So essentially what that does it's a nice slow fall, so you don't have to worry about hurting your fingers, which uh, if you're a pianist is incredibly good news.
All right, so that was Chopin's Prelude in E minor, and it should give you a good idea of just, you know, how subtle this piano can be um, and how sensitive it can be. It's really great for uh, classical music um, and for anything where you just need a lot of sensitivity because you want to pay attention to the detail. That's what makes this such a good um, in-studio, at-home piano. Um, and it has, if you want just a little bit more sound from this instrument, it has this kick flip right here for the lid. And what that does is gives you a real nice healthy sound. And if that's not enough for you, um, then I would recommend looking at the K300, which has just about everything that I described uh, for you on this piano, but an extra three inches of height that just gives you, you know, an extra oomph to the power. So, if you have any questions about uh, the K200 or any of the other pianos that we have in our showroom, uh, feel free to send me an email, max at familypiano.com. Um, and please uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching.